Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Patterson versus Rothwell. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Patterson, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove to your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Rothwell, that he is the father of your one-year-old daughter, Jade. Yes, Your Honor. You claim he abandoned you, stuck you with bills, and now your parents are forced to help you raise your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. But after today's DNA results, he will pay. You're right, Your Honor. You're suing him for $6,423.45 for child-rearing expenses, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Rothwell, you say Ms. Patterson has her parents fooled into believing she's not a cheater, and you refuse to be the fool for taking care of a child that's not yours. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Ms. Patterson, does Mr. Rothwell have any reason to deny your No, daughter. Your Honor, and today I will prove that he is the father. I'm tired of doing everything by myself. Wow. I had to rely on my parents to do everything or help me when we both made this child. So he should step up and do what he has to do. For what child? That's not my baby. Okay. okay. Not my baby. I guess. At all. It is. Take it's... me back. Let me understand the nature of this relationship. We when? met in high school in 2009. We both graduated from the same high school. We met in 2011, like rekindled through a mutual friend. We started dating on and off because he's a cheater, so I can't stay yeah, with I'm a cheater. cheater. You're a cheater. So I got pregnant in 2013 in September. So wait, this relationship, you said you were dating on and off? On and off, yeah. Were you in a committed relationship at some point? Yeah, I was always committed to him. He wasn't committed to me. That's what it was. <laughs> Mr. Rothwell, committed. in your opinion, were you in a committed relationship with Ms. Patterson? Yes, ma'am. You're yes, a liar. Ma you were. Did you do a lot of cheating? Uh, no. Yes, oh, yeah. he did. Me? A lot of cheating. What about you? What proof do you have? What proof do you have? I, I, never, I have never cheated on him. No. Never. At what point did you find out you're pregnant? In 2013, when we were on a trip for my birthday. I didn't, you know, didn't, you know, have my regular monthly. So we took a pregnancy test, and I could see in his eyes that he was scared. So he yeah, made I'm up some ready. excuse when we came back from this trip. We got into a big argument. And, you know, so I didn't see him until December. But he, all through this time, he's telling me, you know, that's not my baby. It's not. And then all of a it's sudden, not. in December, you said, I'm going to step up and do what I have to do. No. Nah. It's just well, not right. Nah. And I feel like, you know, today, we're going to prove that he is the father. And if he doesn't do what he has to do, I will put him on child support. No, nope, not at all. Not me. And so... Uh, I ain't going to pay child support for a child that's not mine. You say you met in high school. Yes. And what was his relationship with your family? We, we really didn't have a Your relationship, Honor. but, you know, my family did take him up, take him in like a family. I did. You know, we we like, treated it, him like he was family. Was just, you know, he just, sold me false dreams, telling he was going to marry me, we have kids, I mean, be happy. All right, now, Mr. Rothwell, you had a great relationship with Miss Patterson and her family? Yes, Your Honor. They did take you in? They did take me in, but that was their decision. <laughs> I didn't go there and say, hey, you what? Know, can you take me in, you know, crawling when to their you, door? When you say... Hold on, when, when you say take you in, did you actually live with them or meaning they accepted you? He like, lived with us. It was he both. lived with us. But I didn't want him to. We it clothed was both. him, you know, but... we bathed him, fed him, treated okay, him. My mom treated him like decision. a son. She was claiming him as a son in law, and I don't have a ring on my finger. All right, I want to hear from your parents. Uh, please stand. He's a deadbeat. I'm sorry. Deadbeat? Oh, really? He's a deadbeat. His no. daughter called me daddy. It's a shame. And I'm so it's mad. Mr. So Copeland, I can see mind. you're very angry. You feel like he has not stepped up to the plate whatsoever? Not at all. Not at all. Well, not explain to the to. court. If you look at this baby, man, you know it's your baby. You I just baby. sad. Yeah, there's no you comparison just sad. He's all. a sad person. He's sad. The I can't call him Mr. Like nothing. Me. There's no resemblance. No, I can't, she I looks, can't even she say Mr. Like to him. him. That's his twin. That's, look at she her. Look, yeah. she look look at like, her. She looks just, just like his mouth and all. She doesn't. The only thing is different is she's brown skin. And you, 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 no, you are so no stupid, man. No. You're losing a lot of great things in life. You about, That's to, still let my baby. There's no about to let it pass you right back. And so, Ms. Gardner and Mr. Copeland, you, admittedly, they're saying that you took in Mr. Rothwell. I you... didn't want to, because I don't believe in taking care of no grown men. But he lost his job. And he got a, his, he's the father of my grandbaby. 
So I'm not the type of person that's going to let him be out in the street. I even gave him money to go get him the gas I mean, so he could find was, him a new though. job. I didn't ask for You know what I'm that. saying? I didn't ask for him. But he didn't ask me for it, and I didn't ask for it back. I told him, Miles, I want you to do All I want you to do is get a job and take care of your responsibility, man. That's all you need to do. You don't owe me anything. Just do what you need to do. So let me understand this. Ms. Patterson and Mr. Rothwell met when they were in high school. Yes. 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 You began to form a relationship, a bond. At what point do you take him in and he starts living with you? When I got pregnant, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> when you found out you were pregnant, then you take him in. Yes. So, Mr. Rothwell, did you participate in the doctor's appointments. Yes, I actually I'm have there. those pictures. I have doctor's appointments pictures, and he is was that there evidence the... you brought today? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you hand that to me, please? He was there through the birth. He cut her a bill oh, yeah, court, and there. he even signed yeah, the birth certificate. So if I he wasn't the father, reason. why'd you sign the birth certificate? I mean, that's yeah, who does I'm that? Mean... Who does that? If you are not the father, why you sign the birth certificate? Well, at the time... T today you're gonna learn that you're the father, yeah. man. You're gonna learn today. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. These are pictures of, explain to me, this first picture is The first picture, picture of... is actually, we left a doctor's appointment and I was actually, that day, I was on my way to the hospital to get induced. And he was there. And then the and next picture happy. is... Nah. My se the second picture, that is at my baby shower. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good guy. You can clearly see that. But when it comes to a child, that's a different story. So well, why is not dead, showing why you a good you guy now? Made that says Jay's it's not my daddy. Baby. His shirt right there says Jay's daddy, which is her name. Were you thinking in your mind, this is my child? I at, don't have a doubt? Yes, Your Honor. At that particular time, from the time she got pregnant and then up until the day she was born, I was there. But then at the same time, as we started, you know, me and the baby started to try to bond, you know, she kept crying, kept hollering and screaming. You That's didn't what try. babies do. You I didn't mean, try. I understand that. You didn't try. He didn't try. No. So, he didn't try. what is this last picture, Ms. That is at the hospital. That's at the hospital. And this is him holding? Yes. That's her. Jay. Holding her. Yes. And you look happy. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the time, yes. Yeah. But then after, as time went on, you know, we was, you know, we started falling out. But not only that, when it comes to the baby, you know, I mean, I understand babies cry, yes, that's what all babies do, but there still should be some type of bond with the father. You didn't try to make a bond. So yeah. let me be clear. You were there for the birth, Mr. Rothwell. Yes, Your Honor. You signed the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. So you acknowledged you were the father on that day. Yes, Your Honor. So why change now? Now, what happens after you come home from the hospital with the baby. A month after I, I came home with her, he was there, and then on his birthday, July 7th, he wants to disappear, and at, like, midnight, I get a text from him saying he's, he don't want to be there anymore because this baby doesn't look like him. Exactly. And to get out he of doesn't here. have a bond. But what you can't make a bond with someone if you're not trying. You were still okay, I living it. at home with your parents. No, we had an apartment. You did? Yes, me and him had an apartment. And then I had to, we had to break our lease because we broke up. I had to move back in with my parents because I can't raise my daughter by myself. Baby but I feel like he cared more about that dang old truck that he got. Yes, indeed. What, okay, more than my, my child. Look what this, truck is this? Look, look at this truck he has. Please, I got okay, Jerome, will you That's show me? Truck. I mean, this, why does this, it matter? Will you hand me that evidence? It, it's it's not only your truck. Honor, I, I went in half on that truck, and nah, the repo man will come money. get it if you don't step up to pay, money. right? I went from life. talking about a baby to talking about a truck? Yes. Because yes, he won't do nothing for my granddaddy. What is this truck? That's my Look at it. Look at it. He all washes all nice. He got stereos in it. Blue lights, red lights. He hugged his truck more than he threw my daughter. That ain't my child, so I'm not going to take part in it. And he's an electrician junkie, so he likes all the new latest electronics, like iPads, all So what are you saying? You're saying that he gives but you're this supposed to be taking care of truck no. more time, oh, well, care, and attention yes, than, right. than anybody. he does the baby. Than right. anybody. Than Your his Honor. own self. He care for his truck more than so he do on. himself. If they can't I bet afford you he wash his truck more than he do himself. Wait a minute. Because oh. he's <laughs> dirty. No. He is no, dirty. Not my Wait a minute. If you can't afford an apartment, how do you afford a truck? Because she had went in half because on Because I went in half in on the truck. So once okay, but that was my money, too. 
We both, we went, both half went half, half in on a truck. Right. But then I have another car also, so I let him just have that truck because I didn't want to hear nah, his I'm mouth. Sure. I actually was at a, at a stop, like me and my cousin. He pulled up. I see he got these lights shining on the bottom. I see what's all on the inside. I'm hearing all this music. I'm like, this guy ain't did nothing for my grandbaby. So me and my cousin, we following. And I followed him to where he parked the car. I waited a couple of hours. I got the car. And look at that. Look at the lights on it. The lights on the inside, lights on it. Yeah, I'm mom. like, wow. So, you ain't did nothing for my grandbaby and I oh, see about $3,000 worth of stuff in this car. So I it's took his car and I took it to my house. And see, I'm a mechanic. I told him, you got to come see your daughter. Yeah, I'll give you your keys. So he think he come see his daughter. I give him the keys. He's going to be able to pull out. Right. Psych, I, won't even write. I took him. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. So, so he, 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 got, he, he got real nice. Me and this guy used to go out At all, that fishing. Right. We used to drink beers and stuff together. I mean, he was like actually my son. I mean, at the and time, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like so frustrated. I took his truck. Matter. So I when he came, see how frustrated when he came, when he came over, he, he was real nice to my daughter, to everybody. Yeah, that's for two good. days. That's what I love on the third day, know. I'm thinking he's gonna be back. On the third day, I put his truck back together. Told him, yeah, you can start it. You and he disappeared. For over he yeah. took yeah. Like that's that's right. I, 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 I told right. him, so wait, him. so wait. You rigged the truck so he couldn't drive it. Yeah. So he had to come back home. So he, so he had played, day, he played nice for two to days, mm -hmm. and then he left. Mm -hmm. right. Mr. Rothwell, did you just leave on the third day? Yes, Your Honor. After the truck started? Yes, Your Honor. Why? I mean, I, I, why? Why? why, 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 why to no, wait a minute. Let up. him speak. I'm trying to understand how a young man can do this to not just a child, but a family that's done so much for him. Why would you just right. leave on the third day and not come back? I mean, it was their decision to take me in. They didn't have to, but time they did that out of the time. Zero. Kind of set their heart. No but time But at the with same time, when it comes to a child, you know, I just felt like, you know, there's no connection. Where did this doubt set in? The reason why the doubts came in, say, in place was because one of my friends said that he seen her with another guy. It all, you know, came together. So like, you, you know, felt like all these puzzle pieces came together, came together and, and that's and, why the child didn't look like you and that's why you weren't bonding because something fishy was going on back during the window of conception. Yes, Your Honor. What else? The baby, she doesn't look like me at all. You don't a think lot, the baby looks me. like you? She's short to be a one-year-old. Her hair's a lot bigger than mine. Really? You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So you don't feel like there's any resemblance? At all. And what else? And I don't feel a connection at all. I need more evidence that you feel Miss Patterson was cheating. Because, for one, my friend said he saw her. So, and I'm okay. going to believe him. Okay, and then what else? And then not only that, I've seen Facebook messages, the different What did guys. the Facebook messages say? That, I mean, it was just random guys just in her inbox. Hey, what's up? Can I come over? I mean, it was Do just I a whole respond? Yeah, Honor, can I say Do something? Do I respond, respond to it's clear she's so wait, too. so wait, wait, wait. Now I'm getting somewhere. So when you saw these messages, did they date back to the time period when Jade was conceived? It was in the same time. And then she even just admitted it that she talking about some do I respond. So that's I, clearly saying no, no, that I've he was talking to other So people. you're saying that validates the fact that there were the messages. Miss Patterson, I have to ask you. So did you have different guys messaging I mean, you that's on what Facebook? Facebook is. Some guys see your picture, you say, how are you doing? I don't respond to that. So I don't, don't know that. down like that. Do you remember this encounter yeah, with you in the truck with someone? No. What truck? What is he talking He's about? He's saying his old truck. So he like, had it with him. She don't know. How? See? And when I found out about the Facebook messages, you know, I was like, as time went on, I'm like, well, you know, it's all coming together now. You know, from her cheating, and then, you like know, my friend, talking about he saw her with another guy. So, ultimately, we're here for one reason, to get the results so we can figure out how yes. to move forward. And yes. if he is yes. the father... Yes. You all have to talk together. You can't just talk over one another. Yes. And I will to co-parent Is this, Miss Patterson, this is the only child you have? No, I have another child, Your Honor. You do? Yes, Your Honor. Older or younger than she's Jade? She's older than her. She's four years old. And he's not the father? No, he's not the father. Nope. But when we were together, he took her in like he, she was his. Did so you've established a bond with her older child, too? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. He'll come get her, take her to the park, but then just leave Jade there. It's not right. It's not right. I mean, and Jay's your biological child. No. And see, you're just leaving her in, in the dark. He's my child. Ms. Patterson, yes, you're suing for how much? 
Uh, I'm suing for $6,423.45. They are credible expenses, but I cannot rule on your suit until I get the results. That's fine. All right? With that said, I think it's time to get some answers. Jerome? Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Patterson versus Rothwell, pertaining to one-year-old Jade Rothwell, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Rothwell, you are the father. I told you. You stupid, don't I told you. You owe my child an apology. You owe my child an apology. You owe my child an apology. Anthony, and you owe my family an apology Anthony, I think for putting you us step through up this. And be, uh, be the man that you possibly can be and be a good father, hopefully. Wow. You're the Mr. Daddy. Rothwell, do you now understand the responsibility you have to this child? Yes, Your Honor. In my mind, I was thinking to myself, oh, Lord, they saying he's the father, but this child is a mess. I don't even know. <laughs> what he's gonna do if he is the father. Then I heard them testify that you come and get the older child and you actually have a bond with the older child that you maintain. So that let me know you have it in you. Now that your doubts have been cleared, I want you to do the right thing by Jade. Yes, ma'am. With respect to your suit, now that it has been determined that Mr. Rothwell is in fact the biological father of a beautiful Jade, you are entitled to half of those childcare expenses you've incurred thus far. You came in saying you had spent $6,423.45 in childcare expenses, and so therefore you are entitled to half of that amount, $3,211.73, judgment for the plaintiff, Mr. Rothwell. Yes, you owe her that and you need to start taking care of your child. Now, if you don't, the state will make sure you do. Do you understand? Yes, yes Your Honor. Good luck to all of you. Thank, Court is thank adjourned. You, Your Honor. Thank you.